And if the shofar went to heaven and Rev. Daniel was blowing the shofar, maybe he could go too and go to the throne room and meet God. Keys, keys, keys to the kingdom of heaven. Well, Rev. Daniel met that peddler on the way home from work one night and she asked him if he'd like to buy a key to heaven. But she had no keys, just a basket full of paper. What keys? said Reb Daniel. These here are Kavanos, special prayers written by great scholars in the big city and blessed by holy rabbis. If you recite one of these just before doing a mitzvah, you will open a gate to heaven. Well, that was just what Rev. Daniel needed. A key to open a gate to heaven. Kavanos. That was a weird word that he hadn't heard before. But mitzvah was a word he knew. It meant a command from God. And blowing shofar was one of them. It said so right in the Torah, right in the Bible. It said, in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, that was now, Rosh Hashanah will be a holy gathering, a day for blowing shofar. Well, Reb Daniel bought three of those, one for himself, one for his wife, and one just in case. But when he brought them home, Selah said, I don't know. Daniel, you were chosen to do what you do well. I don't think you need anything else. But Reb Daniel had been playing instruments his whole life and never once had he gotten into the throne room to meet God. So he learned those kabanos. And it was really hard for him. He studied and he studied and he studied and he employed every trick he knew. And on Rosh Hashanah morning, he was still a little shaky. So he put them in his jacket pocket. And he came down to breakfast and his wife said, Good morning, Shana Tova, Daniel. And she went to kiss his cheek and he was mumbling, mother, 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 those kabanos, and patting his jacket pocket. And that's how he ate breakfast and that's how he walked to synagogue. Mumble, 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 pat, 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 pat. And you know what? You can't actually feel little slips of paper in a man's jacket pocket. Maybe a marble, maybe a Lego, not a little slip of paper. So we took him out to the shed. And the little winds, the tricky breezes, came and grabbed those papers, and he couldn't catch them. Daniel, you don't need them, said Sila. That's right, said Rev. Daniel. I have them memorized. And he found he couldn't remember a word. So all throughout synagogue services, while the other people were praying or talking or counting pages to see how much longer the service was going to go on, <laughs> not saying any of you do that in your worship services, just some people. <laughs> Reb Daniel was trying to remember a jumble of letters that had never made any sense to begin with. Reading and memorizing was not what Reb Daniel was good at. Music, music was what he was good at. And now it was time to blow the shofar. And all the people, the men, the women, the children, people were lifting up their little babies to see Reb Daniel. And he began to cry. And he lifted the shofar, and the rabbi called that first note, the long one, Tekiah. And Reb Daniel's face was shining with tears dropping to the ground. And he called the second note, Shvarim. And the tears were making a noise along with the notes on the synagogue floor. And he called, Trua. <laughs> and then, the last note, which I didn't tell you because it's just Tekiah again, but it's a Tekiah Gidola. 
That means a big one. <laughs> so you hold the note for as long as you can. Takiya Gidullah! Rabbi Daniel looked down, and where his tears had hit the ground, they were silver and they were brass and they were keys. Keys. Keys to the kingdom of heaven. They were those big old fashioned ones with the the large teeth, and they were little tiny ones like you might use on a diary. And he began to gather them up and throw them to the people like they were candy. Keys, 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 catch one, take one. Open your door, open your gate. Well, Sila went into a courtyard, and it was all the seasons at once. There was a light dusting of snow on a bench over there, and, and ripe grapes over here, and, and the smell of fall. And she was standing right by a budding spring tree. And Rev. Daniel said, those buds, they're just the color of your new green hat. And she said, you noticed, I bought it for new beginnings, like you, learning to blow the shofar. And then Rev. Daniel went into the throne room. And he didn't ask for anything. Nothing at all. But God gave him something anyway. Another good year, Rev. Daniel, if you help me make it so. A year of love and friendship. A year of learning and trying. A year of much music. Wanting time with his mother. And the student said, 